Uh, hello and uh, welcome to this, the 20th edition of uh, Open Roads New Italian Cinema, uh, an annual co-presentation of uh, Film at Lincoln Center and the Istituto Luce Cinocita. Uh, I'm Dan Sullivan. I'm a programmer at Film at Lincoln Center. Uh, just uh, welcoming uh, you all to this year's edition. Um, you have, uh, you've just watched uh, Una Promessa, uh, the latest film by uh, Gianluca and Massimiliano De Serio. Um, and I'm very, very pleased uh, to be joined now uh, virtually uh, by both Gianluca and Massimiliano. Um, uh, so hello, hello to hello. you both. <laughs> hello, hello to everybody. Hello, hello Dan. <laughs> and uh, we're also joined by uh, our interpreter, Michael Moore, who will uh, help out as, as needed. Um, but uh, yeah, so I guess just let's get into it. Um, uh, so the, we, we've shown your work in, in Open Roads uh, before. Uh, uh, your Last time uh, you were you were in the festival uh, with a documentary uh, in 2015, I believe, um, and it's also been it's been about 10 years since your last uh, fiction film, I believe, uh, 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 Seven Acts of Mercy. Um, I guess we, you know, looking uh, looking at Uno Promessa, um, uh, maybe we should just start at the beginning and sort of uh, the origins of the film. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. After after making a documentary in 2015, River Memories, sort of how how this uh, this fictional project came about. Yes, after the documentary uh, River Memories, um, we were doing a art residence uh, in Ukraine. Yeah? And we were there walking uh, along a beach. And we read uh, the news uh, about uh, um, the death of a young woman working uh, as a, um, in an agricultural fields in the south of Italy, in Puglia, uh, and under a system that it's called, uh, I know in, uh, in English, maybe gang master system uh, in, it, in Italian is caporalato. And the, our memory uh, went immediately uh, to a personal experience, a biographical experience, uh, and that was the, the death of our grandmother, uh, that she died uh, in the same uh, situation of this young woman but in the in the 50s at the end of the 50s in the same area in puglia mm. so we was a, a kind of um, uh, an exploding mixture between these two different uh, facts one inside our story and the other one outside in our society in, in, in now in these days so we decided to create uh, a story that, were, that wanted to, to go deeper in this uh, kind of uh, exploitation. And at the same time, uh, that it's, a, it's a way for us to re reconnect us to our uh, uh, buried memory because we never met the, our grandmother. When she died, our father, he was uh, 10 years old. So these two levels, the political and spiritual, at the same time, moved us to uh, the script writing in that time. Yeah, um, then, uh, then I'd, I want to ask, I guess, uh, how the... Um how the writing uh how the writing proceeds um uh uh from that point i guess um uh, i guess on the one hand i'm i'm curious how the two of you uh work together in that in that um on that uh but then also um 
yeah, I don't know, just like trying to trying to derive like what shape um, the script should take, considering uh, these are like quite weighty, you know, on both like a personal and political level, you know, these are quite, quite, it's quite weighty uh, subject matter. So sort of how do you how do you uh, shape the script from that? But the first uh, the first thing that we 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 did was to meet our relatives, our father first of all, and also our uncle, and uh, we uh, discovered that uh, each of them has a different story about uh, our grandmother there. So. Uh, and this, this kind of uh, discontinuity was also an inspiration for us to go, uh, to go deep inside our, our roots, so uh, making a historical research, but also to meet every uh, today the field workers in the, in, in the south region of Italy and so we start a journey inside this kind of hidden society, also uh, helped by uh, some experts or some journalists and some texts that we read about this, uh, the exploitation of workers in the fields, and not only in the fields. And so uh, we entered in, uh, inside uh, this shanty town, and uh, we also found uh, a very close uh, image to our previous film, uh, River Memories, but also Seven Acts of Mercy, because both of them were uh, set in, uh, in, in two different shanty towns. And so uh, we found uh, maybe uh, another reason to go deep inside and to start to write something about it. And uh, it's, it was also very interesting for us to, uh, to find ourselves as brothers, but also as directors that work together. No? So uh, I don't know, it start, you, you, uh, uh, you say, Dan, at the, at the beginning that uh, it's 10 years that we didn't make a film, uh, a, feature, a feature film, and uh, uh, but maybe this time was uh, necessary for mm -hmm. us to 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 connect ourselves to our uh, deep reason. So this is uh, the, the first moment of the writing process. Then uh, we 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 met people. We met a lot of people, and also uh, working with the actors were uh, a very source of inspiration for us and for the characters that uh, we decided to describe in the film. Yeah, I, 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 um, I definitely want to ask about um, the actors in, in a moment, but, um, but yeah, I know it, when it's, it's interesting what you're saying about the sort of the necessity of taking this, this time to, to think, to research and, and so on. I'm curious um, if, yeah, over the past, um, over the past decade or so, you know, how, I guess I'm, I'm interested, because you, you work in both documentary and fiction, I'm sort of, um, I'm sort of curious, like, how do you see the relationship between these two aspects of your, of your work, um, and, and whether that has maybe changed at all over the past, uh, over the past decade of, of, of doing the two things? Yes, yes, we, we work, in, in both of these two different um, uh, contenitori, I don't know. In Containers, yeah. Containers. Boxes. Or, you know. But I mean, the approach is the same. Yeah. We, we always do a, a very long and deep research before writing or before shooting. And what we notice it every time is that uh, when you crash against the reality, you are doing a, a kind of work of re, uh, remake the, the, this reality. No? And at the same time, when you make a um, fiction film, it's like you, you are rebuilding the reality. So 
it's always a, a, a game with the, 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 the society, the humanity that we met uh, before the, script, the shooting. And in this game is our job, no? So um, the meetings and the observation of the reality always enter in the script in the same uh, way as the writing process change the reality. So it is an, it's always an exchange. Mm. And no, we also like to go uh, uh, to make something different of the reality. In Seven Acts of Messi, the film uh, goes uh, farther, um, far from the reality, uh, step by step that we are close to the end. And in, in uh, Una Promessa, maybe uh, this, uh, this aspect of, uh, this ambiguity of the reality uh, comes up suddenly at the beginning because uh, this uh, Promessa, this promise is something of impossible to, to do for the father. And so it's uh, suddenly we are in, a, in, a, in another dim dimension. And this kind of uh, 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 maybe the dimension of dream or of something that is, doesn't exist, couldn't exist in the reality, uh, we, we are really close to this dimension. So uh, we think that the reality is always uh, something more than we, we are seeing in this moment and we are uh, shooting in this moment. So maybe cinema is one of the instruments that we have to keep this invisibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, for example, we, during these long years, we made a little film, a short film, 25 minutes, uh, where uh, a couple of uh, hypnotists, 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 like a hypnotist, yeah, yeah. Uh, try to um, hypnotize us, and we were shooted by five cameras during this process, and we went uh, down through our memory and back. also back to our uh, to our situation of uh, before the, our birth so we start a dialogue hypnotized by these two doctors we start to dialogue between each other uh, where when we were inside our mother womb so is this reality or not? <laughs> yes, it was a reality, but it was uh, something very hidden inside ourselves that was uh, also fantastic. No? Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, the fantasy within reality and the ra reality within fantasy at the same time almost. Um, no, that's really, that's really, really interesting. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'd uh, I now want to turn to yeah the, like I said the uh, the actors um, sort of uh, yeah g given all of this and and um, and I think um, the the kind of like uh, the duty I think that comes across in the in in your work to, uh, like in terms of this kind of um, this portrayal of the contemporary of contemporary labor the contemporary working class and their situation and so on. Um, could you tell us a bit about about uh, how the casting proceeded, and um, I guess maybe the uh, you know um, finding this balance? I mean, uh, I, there are like a non professional, some non professional actors in the film, right? Um, so the you know this finding that kind of balance in terms of like who how you uh, who you populate the film with. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we try to, to mix the cards, I mean, to shuffle the cards mm -hmm. and to use uh, different um, uh, actors or non-actors uh, together. Um, and it was very amusing for us because 
the casting was long, was very different with different situations. But we were sure uh, since the beginning that the main actors, the father and the son, um, they had to be, I mean, obviously very different because uh, the man, I mean, the father is big, it's fat, it's, it's uh, like a giant and the little boy is small, is uh, like a um, very young creature, like a little animal. And these different uh, bodies, uh, we wanted to, to always keep together in the film and they had to be uh, like, a, an, like an impossible uh, couple, but the uni unique couple possible. So it's a kind of oxymoron. Hey. So um, we had in mind uh, from the beginning, the face and the body of Salvatore Esposito, the actor well known, uh, not, not only in Italy for uh, the Serie Gomorra, mm -hmm. because he, he has a mask very, um, I mean, very strong, very aggressive, but at the same time, it's like he hides a tenderness or childhood and uh, for the for the boy we uh, we made a lot of casting and uh, almost one year of cast casting in uh, the schools uh, in in the streets in the football uh, um, fields and also in the um, school of uh, acting uh, or something like that. And we found uh, uh, this uh, amazing actor and uh, really is an actor, even if uh, he has not yet a career, but he, he has the strong, the strength and also the, um, the capacity to uh, keep himself uh, in the situation of the scene uh, like a, I mean, with a very quick uh, way and like a, a machine. I mean, it's incredible. And and when uh, they meet each other, uh, we found that they the the the, the meeting uh, of these two different bodies was perfect for us. Then for the others, uh, we. Uh, we, we met uh, uh, this uh, very, I mean, new but uh, important um, uh, director, director and actress, that is uh, Licia Lanera. He, uh, she comes from the theater and she, she does a kind of theater very physical and very violent, but also full of, uh, full of um, love. And this uh, opposition inside herself uh, was very important for us uh, and for the role of Rosa in the film. And also the other, the, the big, uh, the master of the, this system in the countryside, very ugly. <laughs> and it's like um, uh, a monster. And he, he also comes from the theater. It's very known in the South of Italy and he also, uh, worked with the Licha in different plays, so they know each other before the movie. And, and also there is another actor that is, is called um, Giuseppe Lo Console, that is a mixture of all these uh, different situations. It comes from theater, TV, and cinema. And also is uh, like a giant, like a um, very bad giant. So we, I mean, we wanted to amuse ourselves to stay in different situation and uh, different bodies, but we kept this um, atmosphere of uh, fairy tale mm -hmm. also in the casting. Poi c'è una questione, scusa, lo dico in italiano. <coughs> C'è una questione importante che è legata al, agli incontri che abbiamo fatto dentro i ghetti in cui siamo andati a fare i sopralluoghi, ghetti di diverso tipo, c'erano ghetti 
composti da poche baracche dentro a grandi poderi oppure ghetti enormi con migliaia di persone e lì abbiamo anche eh, incontrato delle associazioni eh, di volontariato e attraverso loro abbiamo fatto un casting con decine e decine di ragazzi eh, braccianti o ex braccianti che poi abbiamo coinvolto nel film sia in ruoli secondari che come comparse e soprattutto in alcuni paesi vicino a Taranto e nella zona in cui abbiamo poi scenografato il, il potere del, del padrone. Um, we had some very uh, in, important uh, encounters in various uh, what I'd call ghettos when we were doing our, our site surveys. Um, we went to very different kinds of places. Um, some um, poderi, some large um, estates, uh, farm estates, which had just a few huts and others which were very large, which had thousands of people. Um, and there we met with the volunteer associations who helped us with uh, casting. Um, we met uh, and cast dozens of uh, day laborers uh, or former day laborers uh, who, um, who helped us with the research, but who we then cast in some of the secondary roles or also as extras. And, Um, we did this uh, in the area uh, near Taranto, the city in Puglia, and also in the area uh, where the large estate is set. Eh, scusami, aggiungo una cosa perché c'è un piccolo aneddoto. Uno di questi eh, ragazzi che abbiamo incontrato è, que, è, il, è l'attore che fa il, il personaggio del, del caporale africano. E quando si è, si è trovato nella situazione da noi scritta nella sceneggiatura di dover affrontare con un po' di violenza Giuseppe e Antò, lui ci ha detto ma questo è niente in confronto a quello che io ho vissuto nei campi, sulla mia pelle. È davvero poco questo momento di violenza che mi state facendo fare. È molto più dura la vita. Non lo dico perché... Ci sono anche persone che sono rimaste un po' scioccate dal livello di violenza che mostriamo nel film, che a mio vedere è davvero un distillato di quello che succede nei campi e che viene raccontato nelle cronache, diciamo così, in realtà poco visibili anche nei mezzi di, di informazione. Uh, that reminds me of an anecdote. We met with one guy, uh, who, uh, the guy who plays the part of the uh, African corporal, the boss. Um, and when he saw the way that we had written uh, the, this, the scene, um, of, a scene of violence uh, involving Giuseppe and Anto in the screenplay, he said, you know, this is nothing like what I actually experienced on my own skin when I was working in the fields. It's too weak. Uh, the situation is much harsher. And, and some people might be, uh, some of uh, our viewers were kind of shocked at the level of violence that they saw on the screen, but this is only a distillation of what actually happens in the fields far from the vision, far from the view, uh, even of the media. Thanks. Mike. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. And then I, I wanted to, I wanted to also ask about, um, about working, I guess, working with, uh, the actors on set, but also the way that the two of you, uh, work, work together, um, in this context, I think when there, there's a film, multiple directors, I'm always, kind of interested in whether there's any um, sort of division of labor, as they say, um, you know, who does what kind of, but, um, but also, I guess, relatedly, I'm just wondering in your working with uh, this mix of professional and non-professional actors, you know, what sorts of, what sorts of considerations, what sorts of conversations you're having while you're, while you're actually shooting. And um, I think with the professional actors, I'd be especially interested to know if there's like, because it seems like this kind of, documentary authenticity is important is important on some level like when you're just describing like um you know this portrayal of violence actually has to be you know it has to be accurate uh with the reality um yeah so i'm just wondering sort of uh you know how how like on set sort of how you're like uh thinking about these things kind of as you're making the film and so on No, I, I think that I, um, when we work with non-professional actors, 
we try always to work in the same way than over with the actor, professional actor. So, and the, the production was so quick and I mean, so fast and with a lot of problems to solve. And for us it was a, were bigger than the previous one. So uh, it was also a difficult challenge for us, no? And I mean, we didn't have time to to have a different uh, approach with uh, actor or non-actors, but we develop, uh, we didn't make tests before or rehearsal, we never, with no one. We found uh, the solutions and um, the way to, to play, to act in the set uh, day by day, uh, in the first uh, takes, okay? And this uh, speedy, <laughs> I mean, this approach for us, it's very, very similar to the documentary. When you are in front of the reality and you have to choose the right angle and the better, the best approach to this character or this situation. So, uh, I think that uh, at the end, when we uh, rewatch the the scenes that we did in, in the day, we found every time a kind of freshness. Okay, that it's it's very important at the end when you, because uh, you have something that is 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 life. I mean, is living in that moment. It's not uh, uh, so prepared in uh, all the details. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like to have a surprise every time. I don't know if I answer to the question. <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I, um, uh, and I'm also just wondering uh, about how the, how, how the two of you uh, uh, work on, you know, um, in, the, in this, the, the co-directing kind of uh, dynamic sort of, I don't know. I mean, there, you know, I've heard of like, like situations where it's like someone works with the actor, someone else works with the camera, et cetera. But, oh, I, yeah. but okay, it okay. might be, um, but I, 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 I don't know. It might, it's probably not so rigid with, with you guys because, you know. I, no, it's okay. <laughs> but it's a question that, uh, I mean, the answer change every time. Yeah. Uh, we don't uh, uh, separate our job in the, uh, symmetrical uh, parts. Uh, we try to do the best with uh, with that thing or uh, about we feel more comfortable. Sometimes I prefer, uh, or maybe some days during all the uh, shooting time, some days I prefer stay next to our DOP and work with him uh, and light and uh, camera and my brother is more uh, is more uh, with with the actors and so we decide to 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 share this kind of uh, <clears throat> job but there is no rules and so for example in documentaries my brother is more uh, in camera uh, and I'm more maybe on the organiz organizing the uh, people and uh, contact uh, our characters, etc. In this kind of film, for example, as Una Promessa, uh, we decide to to follow the, the river of uh, events and also the feelings, mm -hmm. the feelings and uh, uh, the atmosphere because it's very important also to keep all the crew together with the same feeling to, to be strong and to, to and so sometimes my brother has a headache or maybe has a, a, a fever i don't know what and so i i'm more there to, to to stay with the other and they say okay today i can work more than you so we we make part time this is a the good thing to work together is just to help each other every time differently. Yeah, um, and we never I, fought. 
we never fought in the, in this in this uh, time oh yeah <laughs> pretty good for <laughs> family members um yeah my i we're uh we're I think we're almost out of time, but I wanted to ask before we before we end, um, uh, just sort of um, I don't know. I guess it's a version it's a version of a question about what's next what's next for you. Uh, but I think it's specifically sort of like um, wh like what are you like uh, what's yeah I guess what's next for you guys and how is the kind of this experience of the pandemic and being stuck, uh, you know, at home and so on. Like, how how is that? Um, is that having any effect on what you're what you're doing next, or um, what, or sort of what are your what are your thoughts about about this strange moment? <laughs> yes, no, we are we are writing a, a new a new script for a for a new movie, and we are still in the first version of the script. So we are uh, far away from the, um, I mean, to see the final result of this process. But the story, uh, it's very different. I mean, it's a, a movie that is not set today, but in the past. And, but at the same time, uh, for us, it's a kind of, um, um, there is a continuity uh, with the other, with the, Una Promessa. Uh, even if we, we look to our history, uh, to our black history, black in the sense of a black hole, but also because the black is the color that uh, will be very important, but I can't say too much uh, because I'm very uh, superstitious. <laughs> no, I can I, uh... say something more that uh, we we are finding in this uh, writing process uh, a sort of comic side of our... <laughs> well, comic? And, uh, we, and, yeah, there is something of comedy mm, that yeah. uh, it's... Uh, I think that uh, it will be uh, unexpected because uh, after one year of, uh, you know, for every everybody, one year of lockdown, and uh, maybe we need some uh, some comedy. And so I'm I'm writing, and I found something that it's uh, it's good, and it's laughing. <laughs> so I hope I don't know it form of hope for the future <laughs> yeah look you're already making me laugh so um, <laughs> but um but yeah we um i think we have to we have to leave it there but um but uh i want to thank you both uh for the film uh for for joining us uh today and, and um yeah i'm really looking forward to uh seeing you guys uh you know in, in person one of these days um that's um, yeah. No, thank thank you, you very much for supporting our cinema.